It's a pleasure to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day with you. It's a good time to reflect on what we've accomplished and what more we have to do to put us on a path to a sustainable future. When I was a student at AB, we were worried about the ozone hole. If you haven't heard about the ozone hole, that's a testament to the success of the Montreal Protocol, the treaty that banned the substances that is destroying the ozone layer, and uh, which is what protects us from the cosmic radiation that causes cancer. The world came to so together to solve this first global environmental crisis, and as a result, the ozone hole is now healing. We can and now must do the same for global warming, the dérèglement climatique. We have the knowledge and technology to solve this global environmental crisis. This is what I work on every day. What is lacking is the political will. And this is where I draw inspiration from the new young generation of leaders like Greta Thunberg. She's right to study the science of climate change and demand that our government and business leaders are held accountable for their actions, whether they follow the science or do not. On this Earth Day, I encourage you to study the science and one, learn one new fact about how our planet works. For example, what are two ways that warming contributes to sea level rise? Ask your science teacher or go check it out at climate.nasa.gov. And here's another one. What are ways that you can reduce methane emissions? So methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas. It's also the major component of natural gas. So one thing that you can do is reduce leaks from the natural gas pipes, or do something like the city of Berkeley did, which is ban the construction of new gas pipelines in dependence on this infrastructure. Something that you can do directly is reduce methane emissions from landfills. Landfills are a major source of methane, mostly from food waste. So when you next are going shopping or filling your plate, try to avoid having les yeux plus gros que le ventre which it means having your eyes bigger than your belly. The other thing you can do is start composting. Does EV still have that wonderful edible garden? Gardens are a great way to learn about sustainability. So study the science, hold our leaders, both in government and business, accountable for their actions, and take care of all our gardens and the planet. Enjoy this Earth Day.